There's no need to go over the rainbow or wish upon a star but your troubles will melt like lemon drops as you watch this sensational musical. Andrew Lloyd Webber has sprinkled his own brand of fairy dust over the L. Frank Baum classic to create a truly fantastic spectacle. The costumes are exquisite, the staging a marvel and the clever video design a real bonus, giving depth to the whole proceedings. Not too surprisingly with Craig Revel Horwood starring in the show, the choreography was tight and fresh. Dancing rehearsals must have been a daunting prospect. Horwood himself was a wonderful Wicked Witch of the West. And he was certainly not as terrifying as Margaret Hamilton in the film version, playing her with a far more comedic touch. It would have been satisfying to deal him some of the acerbic remarks he is so famous for on Strictly but there was little to criticize. The Antipodean star truly is a wizard from Oz. Benjamin Yates as the lovable scarecrow Scots entertainer Alan Stewart is probably best known these days for his annual Edinburgh Pando performances but he showed he is more than a few oh yes he cans. Taking on the eponymous role, Stewart nailed the American accent, acting and singing in a lovely avuncular style. But the big four, Dorothy, Scarecrow, Tin Man and Lion are the real stars of the show. Aviva Tooley's voice is insanely good while the comic timing, singing and dancing of her three unusual amigos, Benjamin Yates, Femi Akin Folaren and Nick Greenshields created a real warm, mushy feeling. Tin Man's movements in particular were breathtaking. And let's not forget about the adorable Toto, expertly brought to life by Abigail Matthews. There were laughs galore and feelings of real emotion at the big numbers, carefully reworked by Lloyd Webber and his longtime writing partner Tim Rice. It is 85 years since the film came out but there are enough tweaks and turns in this production to make it feel bang up to date. It's time to move over Wicked, the real Wizard of Oz is back in town, runs until Sunday in Glasgow and then Aberdeen from Tuesday.